Good evening, everybody. As everybody gets logged in, we're going to get ready to do a project tonight. I actually have two lined up for you using Chalkology Ink. We used ink last night. We're going to use ink again tonight. Before we get started, just a reminder, I have, I'm going to call it the coronavirus special earrings here. Does it mean they have coronavirus? It just means that each pair is $5. So they're usually $7 and $8. So we're going to do this rack here, $5 a pair. So if you want some, let me know in the comments. Tell me which ones you like or I can connect with you. With you. Um, but we're gonna get rid of these. These were gonna make their way to Jessup in the first week of April, but that event has been postponed. So these earrings are now available $5 a piece. So if you want those, let me know and I will have them available for you. All right, we're gonna move these aside. So tonight we're going to do two things. We're going to actually take some ink on a coffee mug and I'm going to talk to you about that and how we, um, not only do we ink that surface, but how we heat set it because it's actually a special process. And then we're going to do a shirt for me using a floral mask. So this is a floral mask, you notice this is all green. So we're going to chalk this, chalking is my cardio and set this mask all the way around it. So that's going to be really, really pretty. So let's go ahead and get started with our coffee mug. Remember I recommended that you use one of these coffee mugs that is for crafting. Just don't forget that when you do ceramics, they do have coatings on them. So you don't want to just get anything to add um, if you want it to be used to eat or drink, if you want to use the ink. You don't want to just get anything to heat set that. Now if you're doing a ceramic, oh that's got a paintbrush in it. If you're doing a ceramic project that is just something that's going to be pretty instead of being used for food or anything, you actually just want to go ahead and chalk it and seal it. Just don't put food on it. But for something you want to use and wash in the dishwasher, be dishwasher safe, you need something that is craft friendly. And this is from Art Minds. I got this at Michael's, I believe. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this awesome sparkle transfer from last year, and we're gonna wrap it around our cup, and we're gonna do it in shimmer silver. So. The thing is with inking, you can take your time and you don't have to fuzz. Now, well, you don't have to fuzz with fabric, but this one I do because it is ceramic. I'm gonna grab my wipes and put it over here so I can clean off my squeegee. And when you get on this later, put a replay in so I can say hello. You know how I love to tell everybody hello. So here's our transfer. I'm actually gonna go ahead and take off the back of my sparkle transfer here. And you can use any of Chalk Couture's transfers. They're eight to 12 uses, that's paste or ink. And this is brand new, so I'm gonna give it a good fuzz. Ceramic, so it's gonna stick really close. But of course, I don't want too much spacing on here because I want it to be nice and clean. And this is gonna be a lot of fun. I did this one time on some tiles, which I have some more of to try it out and I didn't do it right. So I learned a lot of things. So we are all fuzzed and I'm gonna tilt you down so you can see what I'm doing. So here is our coffee mug, Let's move this out of the way, and our ink. So I'm gonna actually take my coffee mug and I'm gonna go ahead and put my transfer on the mug, just kind of wrap it around like so all the way around. I want to make sure there's no air bubbles on my design on the screen part because I really like this design and I want it on my coffee cup. So we're just working those. It's a lot easier on the ceramic. It's kind of like glass. You can work those air bubbles right out of your transfer with your fingers. And it actually looks pretty good. So here we are. Here is our coffee mug. And I'm gonna move my heat press over so you can see a little better. All right, so here's our ink. And I'm gonna get my mini squeegee here. And I'm gonna grab me, this is the silver, the shimmer silver. This is what I'm gonna use for this, this project. So I'm gonna grab me some of my shimmer silver ink and I'm just gonna work it right into the screen of my transfer. Now with this, it, they do recommend leaving it 24 hours to dry at least until it's not tacky anymore. But you can hit it with a heat gun 
or you can hit it with a blow dryer to kind of start the process a little bit sooner. So here's the directions as we're inking this of how you heat set this coffee mug. Get ready because this is big information. So what you would do with your finished ink job is you would take this coffee mug, let it dry for 24 hours. Then you would go to your oven, set it to 350 degrees, starting from cool, you're gonna put this in on a cold oven, set for 350 for 30 minutes. And voila, it should be permanent. And that is my Cricut telling me that it has been on too long and it's gonna start cooling down. That's fine. All right, so hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. My light's a little bright. And this is very reflective. So we're putting our ink right into our transfer and I see a little bit right to the edge that I wanna make sure that I get, because I wanna get the whole design. I want this to be so pretty. I'm gonna scrape off my extra ink, so I'm gonna take my squeegee and just scrape it off. There we go. I'm trying to reuse as much ink as we can. Don't like to waste anything if we can help it. And I'm, while I'm doing that, I'm making sure that my whole screen part is covered and it looks like it is. So let's see what we have, shall we? And I'm gonna take this light is super bright and you're having a hard time seeing. So let's change that first, shall we? There, that should be better. All right, that should be better, yes. Okay, so let's see what we have. We're gonna go ahead and pull back our transfer. Now this is gonna be tough, but I think we can manage. All right, here we go. Oh, how pretty. That is so great. So, you know what? I think this light is getting on my nerves and it's giving you a hard time to see. Okay, that's better. So check it out. Sparkle. Cool, huh? Okay, now that we got that one done. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, it's, we, this needs to sit for 24 hours, but I am gonna hit it with a hair dryer as soon as I clean my squeegee off. Go ahead and get the drying process started. And then I'm gonna set, put it aside and let it dry overnight. I might even let it dry through Saturday because I have a treatment tomorrow, so I may not feel like heat and setting this tomorrow. But let's go ahead, put this on low and blast it with some heat. And voila, Sparkle is on our coffee mug. And you could use any chocolate tour transfer for this. I think that's super cute, I love it. So we're gonna take our sparkle mug and I'm gonna put it aside over here. Let's move the rise and grind and just put it right here for now. Okay, one project done and one to go. So the next project, kind of like last night's project, is a shirt, but it's for me. And we're gonna use a mask transfer. So what that mask transfer does, is gonna let me add a little bit to my design that I ink without actually messing up the design in the center. It covers everything up. So it's really great. I have not done this before. This should be interesting. You know, I'm getting adventurous with you guys. I can't help it. So much fun, I love it. So the first thing we need besides our shirt is we need our sticky pad. So here is my sticky pad that I cut yesterday. And I have this shirt right here. It's like a baseball quarter sleeve that is a little big, but I like shirts that way. I wanna be nice and comfy. So this one is for me, so that's my preference. So I'm gonna take my shirt and lay it down on my surface. And I'm actually gonna tilt you down so you can see what I'm doing here. 
and we're gonna take the sleeves and just kind of let them fall this way. I'm gonna get my sticky pad and put it inside the shirt. And let's go ahead and get in as far as I want my design to be. I want my design to be kind of close to the top. So let's see here. And that is a little crooked. I'm gonna straighten that. Not that it matters, but matters to me <laughs> okay and I can see that needs to work little wrinkles out I'll pick up my shirt kind of shake out the back so I don't have anything getting crushed in the back as well there's a big crease there okay so here we go here is our floral mask and you know what? My sticky pad needs to come over to the left. So that's what I'm gonna do. Making sure that I get everything just right. I don't want, I want this to turn out nice. I don't want anything to get messed up. So, you know, it's a little intense when it's permanent sometimes. You can make something really spectacular if you're willing to take a risk. All right. There we go. I think that's pretty good. Let me go ahead and clear this up here. Now let's see what we have. Wow, okay. So I'm gonna hold up my shirt, make sure it's straight and in the center and it is. So that's good. That's half the battle, right? If you watch this later, put replay in the comments or be sure to share with your friends. Give me a like on this video. Let's um, grow our little chalk family. Okay, so I'm using this mask so I know where my chalking is, my cardio is gonna go. So it's gonna go right there. And you saw how I did that? I laid it down, put it in the center, and just held onto this. So that's going right there. And actually, I'm gonna take a squeegee. So that's the center. Not too bad, huh? All right, so let's put the chalking as my cardio down, because this is for me. And why not make little things for myself besides my hat? So that's gonna be dead center. And how I knew that is I put my mask down, and that's where the chalking is my cardio is gonna go, because this is gonna go on top of that and give me that floral border. So my squeegee is the is my right there. That's how I knew that. All right, I'm gonna leave that squeegee right there. Go ahead and take my transfer off its back. And let's take the squeegee out and lay that down. Perfect. So, the outside of my, my floral is actually going to be in the Couture Teal ink. And you can get many different colors in the ink. Many of our chalk paste do come in the ink. It's so worth it. Especially when you want to get into something like this. You don't have to do any seeding or weeding or whatever it is that Cricut calls it. Not that they're a bad company. But, if you're lazy like me but you want to make something cute, this is how you do it. So, my center of my design, this chalking is my cardio is going to be in black. So I have my baby wipe over here already, and I'm going to go to town. I'm just going to get a little generous with my black ink. I want it to go ahead and get right into the screen here. This is really, really going to be adorable. And with this black and white shirt, that pop of teal is going to be really pretty, I think. So. And after a while, for you guys just joining, I'll show you what I just finished, the coffee mug I just finished. So right now, we're just getting the ink right into this chalking is my cardio transfer. And then you have to spice things up with a pop of color so the teal is going to be all the way around it in just a minute. Oh, this is going to be so, so pretty. 
All right, we're gonna go ahead and make sure I'm gonna get all my extra ink right off of this. Make sure everything's covered and it looks like it is. Remove my ink. I'm gonna go ahead and put my lid. I, there is no rush with the ink, but I wanna make sure that you guys can see this full completed project. Hey Megan, hey Debbie. So let's go ahead and see how this turned out and reveal. Very nice. Very, very nice. That is awesome. Now, you may be thinking, wouldn't you want to dry that before you do this? No, I'm too lazy for that. I'm just going to go ahead and put this floral mask right centered up right in the middle. So we can put this beautiful design in teal all the way around us. I saw this done by my, one of my fellow designers, Miss Dawn, and she did it on a hoodie and it was beautiful. So we are going to do this on this awesome baseball shirt. So I'm pulling my transfer off. Remember we're doing fabric, so fabric you do not have to fuzz. And then I'm going to stand up so I can see better. I'm going to just kind of center this up the best that I can. And I'm going to lightly put it down. And then I'm going to take a look. Not quite. Let's get it nice and square the best that we can. That'll do it. Oh yeah, I think it might be a little crooked. It's okay, I'm a little crooked as a person. It's fine. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and make sure this is down. I'm gonna take a little squeegee and go all the way around to my flowers and my rim here. Nice little border that I want on here. And make sure it's ready to ink. So let's go ahead and our teal ink and hopefully this turns out if not hey we tried it'll be okay all right so I'm gonna be a little more generous with this teal ink as I work it into this awesome floral mask transfer don't forget it is still transfer palooza you can still do Buy three, get one free on my chalk site. So things like this, this is the time to get it. Why not when you can get something for free, right? But that ends at the end of the month. All right, so we're working our ink all the way around in our floral border here. And don't forget, you don't have to worry about it drying on you because it's ink. It's not going to dry that fast. So if you want to take your time, you can. But for the sake of this live, I'm not going to take my time. I'm going to go ahead and get through this kind of fast. So let me go ahead and pull off this extra ink and I'll use it over here. I see a little spot there I didn't get. That's you know, like to, with this, you have to kind of look for that to make sure your ink is getting through your transfer. This fabric can sometimes, you'll have little spots here and there. Now, if you have find something like that and you have a little mistake and you've already heat set, you can go back and ink over top of that and reheat set it and then wash it. That is totally, it will work. It's always good to know what your backup plan is going to be where you can fix that whoopsie. If possible, depends on the project. For example, if this does not turn out well on this white shirt, it probably isn't going to be fixable. Now I'll let you guys know this shirt I got from Michaels, I think it was like, I want to say it was like five or six dollars. So you're just going to know where to look. Michaels does have some pretty good selection. I do believe they had some on sale. Regular tees. If you want to try this stuff. 
All right, I do see a spot right here that I didn't get ink in. So that's what I'm looking for now, a little spot I may have missed. Hmm, there's some right there. Ah, oh, awesome. I think I got it all, you guys. Oh, a little bit right there. Good thing I was looking right there. All right, I think we're ready to reveal this one. What do you think? I'm a little nervous. <sighs> I was nervous last night too with that other ink project. I have ink on my hands, so I've got to get it off. Or if I touch this, I'll get ink on my shirt where it shouldn't be. Baby wipe to the rescue, now watch. There is no ink left on my hands. This baby wipe does take the ink off of your skin. It will be permanent, but it doesn't stain your hands. So that's a good thing about Chalk Couture's ink. Some inks will. If you're dyeing fabrics and stuff, you can stain your skin, which is never fun. But this stuff is great. All right, so I've used the masking floor over my chalking as my cardio in the center. Notice this is all green, so it kind of protected that design underneath. Oh, let's hope that this works. And let's reveal. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Do you guys see this? Look at how awesome this is. I'm so excited. So this is for me. This is my shirt. So this is what we did. We took the A-size chalking as my cardio and put the floral, this is the floral mask right on top. And this is my shirt. I almost got teal ink on the sleeve. Now, I almost did this and I don't think I'm going to. You can do things like cut your sticky mat in strips and put them in the sleeves and put things on your sleeves as well. So you could do things like names, you could do numbers, you could like baseball shirts, like this kind of looks like a baseball shirt. You could do, I don't know, the Chalk Couture logo on the sleeve. That's what I was gonna do, but it's too complicated for me tonight. I think I'm gonna stick with this. This is nice and pretty and perfect for me. So I'm gonna hit this with our hair dryer. Go ahead and get it started on our drying. I'm going to go ahead and pull out the sticky pad underneath because I'm going to need to hit this with heat for a little while. So I don't want this to kind of melt and buckle underneath. So I'm going to go ahead and get it off of here. This is the hard, hard part is getting this out and not uh, messing up your design and getting it everywhere. That's the hard part. Oh my goodness. Throw that on the floor for now. Let's see. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and drive it. I'm gonna let sit for 24 hours with my coffee mug. I'll show you my coffee mug in just a second, which is right behind me. So this shirt I got for, I think it was $6 at Michael's. I used my amazing sticky pad, which you can get on my chalk site. You get square ones and you get skinny ones. So this is the same piece we used last night and slid it into my shirt and then used the chalking as my cardio. I chalk, or inked that on my, my shirt, and then I did the floral mask all the way around. This is black velvet and teal, couture teal ink on the shirt. So, here it is. I think that'll look lovely, don't you? That'll be super cute. I love it. I'm gonna let that sit right here. And now I'm gonna show you the coffee mug that I did. So hang tight, I'm gonna turn around and grab it. 
So here it is. And my light is super bright, so I am going to grab it and turn it off so you can see this better. So here it is, it says sparkle. This is in a shimmer silver. Now here's my suggestion with these. Never forget that ceramics have chemical components on the outside of them. They've been fired and, and um, sealed and things. So you don't wanna use just your regular everyday coffee mug to heat set in your oven. It can actually let off fumes and can be poisonous to your family. So I recommend that you get craft stuff, craft mugs, like this one, this is Art Minds. This is one that you actually get from Michaels or Hobby Lobby because it's safe to heat set and it's in the directions. So to heat set this, I'm gonna let it dry for 24, maybe even 48 hours. And how you know if it's dry or not is you can, by 24 hours you should be able to touch this. If it's still got a tacky feel into it, it needs to stay out and dry. Once it's fully dry, it's still gonna be kind of above the surface. You're gonna be able to feel it like somebody had drawn or put vinyl something. That's what it's going to feel like. You're going to set your oven to 350 degrees and put this bad boy on the rack in the cold oven as it's heating up. Set your timer for 30 minutes, bring it out, let it cool, and then it should be permanent and should be able to go in the dishwasher. So you'll be able to drink your coffee from your sparkle coffee mug. For our shirt, Never forget, we, they do recommend 24 hours. You can dry it sooner than if you have a heat gun. Or I could sit here with the blow dryer and let it dry, dry, dry. It's a lot more ink than what we had yesterday. But this would go ahead and dry just naturally. And we would actually take, I usually take a piece of cardboard in the middle like we did last night, some parchment paper. Put that parchment paper on top. So the parchment paper would go right on top of this. And I would take my Cricut press and set it, I'm gonna turn it on so you can see, 305 degrees for 90 seconds. You would hit, once this is green, the Cricut button, and then just work your way, the, all the parchment papers there, just work your way across your design until it beeps, flip it inside out, and repeat on the inside. The same thing. Thanks, Deb. So this shirt is gonna get heat set tomorrow. Don't forget, if you need some help with this, always reach out. That's why I am your neighborhood designer. Um, don't forget the big sale. Go to my chalk site. You don't want to miss this. This month is ending next week, and then you'll miss the big sale. So jump on my site. If you go on to our page, just click on shop on the top of the page on Christina's Chalk Decor. I had a great time, you guys. Also, before we go... $5 earrings. If you want a pair of earrings, let me know if you want something you see here. This was making its way to Jessup, but I have so many I could make. So please, let's get rid of these so I can make some more. I had a great time, you guys. You won't see me tomorrow because tomorrow's a treatment, but maybe we'll talk again before the weekend. If not, I would definitely see you Monday night when we're going to be chalking with Megan. She's got something great up her sleeve. You know she is the chaos slash hot mess guru when it comes to mixing colors and things so she's got something planned that you're gonna love so stay tuned for that i had a great time enjoy the rest of your week wash those hands and be safe bye